All right, well, right about now, it's time for us to get to know our guest artist of the morning, a man who's bright and awake this sure. morning. Thank you very much, this princess. Don't worry, Musa, uh, we, we got you coffee. Just, just see, to, man. Just to uh, help you on along, but let's welcome him onto our Feel Good Breakfast Show stage. Musa's in the house, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. In the house, in the house, in the house. Uh, so what we normally do at this hour is we take 60 seconds to get to know you very okay. well. Right? And I ask you questions and you answer the first thing that comes to your mind. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> Are you ready for it? Hey, let's do it. Start the clock, here we go. Who's your favorite local artist? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Tea or coffee? Coffee. If you could perform anywhere in the world? Uh, yo, Cape Town Jazz. Okay, sweet or savory? Sweet. Bread, pasta or potatoes? Potatoes. What's your nickname? Musa. Your nickname? I don't, I don't have a nickname. <laughs> <laughs> One thing most people don't know about you. Very loud. Are rats cute? No. The last person you texted? Shoo. Whoa. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Summer or winter? Winter. The first thing you do when you wake up in the morning? Sing. Do you believe in love at first sight? No. <laughs> <laughs> the last thing you spend too much money on? Sneakers. Your favorite holiday destination? Seychelles. If the toilet paper <laughs> roll is really low but not completely out, <laughs> do you replace it or leave it for someone else? I leave it for someone else. Oh, no ways. <laughs> What's the one thing you're really bad at? Lies. Uh, <laughs> how much of what you were answering is true? <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, that was, no, no, I just made up, I just made up that question. Dog, it's good to have yeah. you, man. Yeah, man, thank it's you so much for having me here. Studio. Wow, uh, and, and looking forward to the music, as always. Yeah. I mean, we, we, we love you, we love your music, we love your voice, and now you're at, you're at a point where third studio album yeah. is now coming out. Yeah. And this time around, you, 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 you are the master of the destiny, you are the master of the ship, you're behind the scenes, you're in front of the mic, you're yeah. everywhere. How different was that from the production process of your previous albums? And how intense was it to be involved on that level, on that scale? Um, I would say, you know, from my first, my first, first and second album um, were a joyride for me, you know, because I didn't have to, I literally had to do, sometimes I just had to write like a chorus. Yeah, yeah. Or I'd have to do a verse and a song, but I wasn't as fully hands-on like I am now mm -hmm. because... Robbie was there, you know what I mean? So my life was kind of easy. And this time around, I literally had to step into the studio and I was the only person there. And I was like, yo, what Is happened? that intimidating? Very intimidating, man. How do you get over that? Uh, I found joy in it because I discovered a new me within the process. Wow. Which made it so interesting because then I understood myself better from a producer point of view, from a writer's point of view, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? I became, I became stronger. Yeah. Yeah. You talk about the, the great late Robbie yeah. Malinga, who was a big part of your career. Yeah. He was your mentor. Yeah. Tell me about what it is that you, you learned from him that you are taking with you that might perhaps live through your music in some way. Um, hey man, the, the actual sound, you know what I mean? Um, and my understanding of music as well, you know, cause when you sit with Robbie in studio, he'd always tell you like, we haven't made it. Like there was never a point where we were good. You know what I mean? Like, I don't remember. When Tande was at the peak, it was like, we need a song. Wow. <laughs> yeah, like, I promise you. When I was, like, at my busiest point, he's like, we need a song. I was like, we are at a point where we booked everywhere. Yeah, exactly. He's like, yeah, 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 I get it, but we need a song. Wow. We so now. So the work ethic is yeah. just constantly so it like, there. Yeah, it's there. Don't stop. Yeah. Like, you never wake up and it's enough, or you feel like, You've conquered it. So you, I always, so with Robbie, I always understood that greatest point for me is to stay on the ball. And that's all I do now, man. Stay on the ball. Right? Stay on the ball. Oh, man. <laughs> Inspired. Inspired on this Thursday morning. And I cannot wait, as I said, to hear you performing live here on our Feel Good Breakfast yeah. Show, dude. Such a pleasure having you here. Ladies and gentlemen, Musa is in the house! Yeah. <laughs>